Hey guys, Mozu with Negron Tech here. So I've been thinking about it and you know, with the new release of the P28s from Lee and Lee, those case fans, the little bit older release of the SL120s and 140s, the V2 version, I thought about it, you know, like, hmm, you know what? I kind of want to upgrade fans. And then I thought about it some more. What's the effing point? Why am I going to upgrade fans? Why am I going to waste my hard earned money? You know, better performance fans correlates to a better PC overall. You get better temps, the parts last longer, blah, 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 right? Less dust in the case. But I really wanted to quantify, especially when it comes to gaming, do better fans actually really matter? And in this video, what I'm going to do is talk about RPMs, right? I'm going to talk about fan speed, and I'm going to talk about revolutions per minute. You also see CFM, that's cubic feet per minute, and what that really means is the higher the number, that means the more air goes in, right? So for me, I have 10 fans. I have a positive, you know, typical positive uh, pressure case, but... You know, I never really sat down and thought, like, because I normally run mine at a low fan curve, a manual set fan curve that's lower because I don't like too much noise, right? But if I pump those fans up to, let's say, you know, these uh, older SL120s go up to uh, 1900 RPMs around that, right? Does that really, is that going to make a huge performance in cooling? If I upgraded the fans to those P28s, that performance focus, or if I got the V2s that, you know, have a little bit more CFM and a little bit higher RPM, am I going to overall have a better performing PC? You know, I don't know. A lot of people don't go over that, so that's what I'm going to do today. And my testing is going to include strictly just two, two tests, quiet profile, really, really low RPM, and that low extreme, see if we can get a big difference, and higher RPM closure to 1900. And that's the goal today. I wanted to find out, you know, hey, how much does fancy matter? So here are the results. I used two different games because, again, it's a gaming benchmark for fan speed, and I used Warhammer. And I use Asia Wonders uh, 4. So I did five. I did a 10-minute test both using hardware in Fiora 64. I like that better than 8 to 64. Just a personal preference. Uh, five minutes in a battle for both scenarios, both games. And five minutes for the campaign map. And here are the results. So this is kind of surprising to me because I didn't think it mattered too much, right? So we have about an average, like, I don't know, 2 to 4 degree difference. But on the high end, when it comes to CPU, I'm testing CPU and GPU core. I'm going to talk about the GPU junction temp in a second. But this is pretty much it. At the high end, again, we get almost 8 degree difference with that CPU, uh, the low, and the average you'll see there. But this is pretty much it. Uh, again, you know, this is just one scenario, guys, in one test. With one AIO, with one case, it is not an end-all, be-all discussion. But if you're like me, you just wanted to know, like, how much does it really matter if I get a fan that go another three to 400 RPM? Well, you have a rough idea that, you know, you might not expect too much, but, you you know, if you want to min-max and you want to absolutely knock out the performance in your build, then there you go. You might, if you get high-quality fans that can go higher RPM, have a higher CFM, and if you go from those 120s and 140s, guess what? You might run a much, much cooler PC. So guys, uh, real quick sound test. On a quiet profile, I'm getting just around 35 dBs. I got a really crappy one from Amazon. Doesn't work too well, but it is what it is. And then in real time, this is the sound. So we'll go at full, and you'll get a sound test for that. And that sounds at 1900 RPMs. It comes out to almost 70 something dBs. But again, it's a crappy uh, dB reading, real cheap on Amazon. That's pretty much it, guys. You know, just quick gaming benchmark just with that. Hopefully, you get something from the graph. I'm not the Excel master, so take away your will. Mozo with Negron Tech. Uh, if you have any comments, you know, comment, let me know what you guys have, like with your builds. Like, how much does uh, your fan speed or what your fans get? Because I'm actually really still thinking, you know, at the end of the day, I will uh, maybe or maybe not upgrade the fans. I do want to at least get 140s in my three front intake. But uh, again, we'll see. Like, comment, subscribe, guys.